Thanks for taking time out of your schedule to view this screencast. We'll be demoing the use of Windows Workflow Foundation from Microsoft and Condor from the University of Wisconsin. The objective is to show how we might be able to use some of these new workflow capabilities in the .NET 3.0 framework in conjunction with the grid. For simplicity, we'll take a look at, at seeing how this fits with Condor but hopefully this is something that may be applicable to or orchestrating more more complex workflows on other grid middleware. We'll start from a developer's perspective and use Visual Studio to build a simple workflow and execute it and see the results. Here in Visual Studio I will, we'll go ahead and create a new project you can create a couple different project types. We'll use a simple console application that will run this workflow. It'll, it'll come up with a screen where you can draw out the workflows. You'll also notice the, on the left the toolbox and the lower right the, the property grid where they'll show some of the attributes or properties rather about the activity. We'll use this prefabricated submit job activity for Condor and slap this on here. We'll fill out the, some of the required properties. We'll use the local host here. And this machine has Condor running on it. And we'll specify a command. We'll use just this simple ls, which is a directory listing. You'll see the universe type if you're familiar with Condor. Now we're just using the default vanilla. The owner and some of these class add override well, overrides because we're overriding some of the default values that get created when the job gets created. This is this control here is all provided through .NET. Here we'll look at some of the specific values. We'll just flash through these, get an idea of what's what's being said in there. And looks like we're ready. We'll go ahead and execute this job. I'll run, start running it. We'll load up. Let's we'll look at the Condor queue. And I think there's a dead job in there. It should start running. Uh, let's see if it appears in there. Nothing quite yet. There it goes. Let's see if we can ch see it change its state to running. Sure enough, it changed to running. And we'll go look at the directory where it's going to put the results. And they should appear here as an, the air file and the output file. And sure enough, there they appear. We know it's been successful. The other thing we'd like to take a look at is perhaps from more of a, a user perspective, from an engineer or, or a scientist, uh, you can rehost this designer in a separate application, here's a Windows application, you'll see these same elements and ending one job, some uh, additional activity, parallel activity. This is the same kind of user interface where you can add one there, one there, add another job. You can save this as a ZOML file, it's XML. You can see how this may be transformed into a direct a directed acyclic graph for submission into Dagman with Condor. You can also foresee some problems of some large workflows and how we might want to optimize those and some other tools for discover the submit job is enough but being able to identify the, the services that are spread out over the over the grid and also security covered here either. Hopefully though we've covered how you can use Windows Workflow in connection with the grid and given a few examples and hope it, hope it's been evocative. Thanks for watching.